we're going to make the most delicious, simple chicken dish that you're going to love. Chicken alla matoni, chicken under the brick. It's a brilliant technique that we've done at Jamie's Italian for 10 years now. And the chicken's delicious. We're going to make a homemade pesto. And this is like no pesto you've ever seen before, right? It's really really delicious. We like to set ourselves apart. We've always invested in higher welfare, beautiful free-range chicken. This is from the Coleman family in Devon and they do a brilliant, brilliant free-range chicken. Creedy Carver it's called and we use the legs and the breast. For this dish we're using the breast and we marinate that, pass me that chef, we marinate the chicken breast in rosemary, garlic, oil, a little lemon zest and bay leaf. We do that the day before, that'll make it more tender. And then we're gonna whack this onto the grill. So in James Italian, we invented our own Alma Tony here. So that's heavy and it's screaming hot. It makes it juicy and it makes the skin go beautifully crisp. While that's cooking, let me show you a beautiful pesto. Now it's not the same pesto that you might think you get from the supermarket, right? It's not basil and pine nuts and parmesan. No, 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 no. So the word pesto means paste. And actually, if you go across Italy, they have hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of different pestos. And what I love is to be a bit more seasonal about herbs. So we've got basil here, we've got mint here, and we've got parsley. And all of this is gonna go into a food processor. I'm gonna go in with almonds, so we're not using pine nuts, love almonds. And I'm not toasting them off, because I want the creaminess. Um, then we're gonna go in with some Parmesan, a little bit of garlic, olive oil, a little lemon zest, really lightens it, and then just whiz it up. Just literally takes seconds. And, you know, the traditional recipe would use a pestle and mortar, which is lovely, you can bruise the flavor out, but actually, I quite like making it in a food processor. You know, it does cut the herbs, but it, it kind of keeps it fresher, I think. And then what we want to do is loosen it with good oil. You know, you can blend nuts, you can blend cheeses, pecorinos, parmesan. And actually in our pesto, we've got a really special extra cheese, which is salted ricotta. So just like the ricotta or the recooked cheese, the light cheese, the white cheese, they have another one which they salt. And it's delicious and it's fresh. And I love blending the Parmesan with the salted ricotta. It's so beautiful and so delicious. Look at that. And then let's have a little taste. How are we doing with that chicken, chef? I'm just thinking now about balancing. I want to get that Parmesan right. The garlic's good. The herbs are really fresh. And sometimes I like to put a little lemon juice with it. Look at that. Really beautiful. So look. Look at that. Super crispy. So finish it with a little lemon juice, a little olive oil, and we'll serve it up. I like to put the pesto on the base. So when you cut into your chicken, you have to get that pesto over it. We're going to get our chicken, and I'm just going to slice it just once. What's really beautiful is two things. You can double check that it's cooked to perfection, but also you expose that crispiness and that juicy, juicy breast inside. And then to finish it off, just a little lemon juice, a little oil, and just a little bit of rocket, little wedge of lemon. So there you go, guys. Chicken al matoni, loads of love there. Super simple food, but that creedy carver free range chicken, the crispy skin, that juicy breast, that homemade seasonal pesto with the almond salted ricotta, so good, so, so good. Simple food, but made with love. Come in and see us at James Italian.